All right, guys, I need you to open up a terminal session. I'm gonna use Spotlight, Command Spacebar, Terminal, hit Return. Blow this up a little bit so you guys can see it. So we all know that the Find command is super awesome. If you do a find minus x, I want to tell it a location. I could tell it the entire drive if I want, the root volume. Um, I could do it just for this WDC folder on the desktop. So I could drag this on here. So right now I would be telling the find to search in this directory and I can tell it what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a name, a series of files. So I'm going to do iname. The reason I do iname is because I like to, that means it's case insensitive. So if the name was capital letters or lowercase letters, it wouldn't matter. And then I'm going to do a star period PNG because I want to find all the ping uh, screenshots that I've basically taken in that folder. So I want to see if this returns anything. So then I can just basically hit return. And it shows a bunch of different files in that directory. So we can see that I found a ton of files. It shows me all of them. These are all my screenshots. But what if I want to know the size of each of those files? Um, or if I'm searching the whole hard drive for all the files that basically maybe I own or something. You know, so I could use, I can arrow up and I can use the same command. I'm actually going to hit a command K to clear the screen. And now that we're up here, so we're looking in this folder, but let's say I didn't want to search in just that WWDC folder. I wanted to do my desktop. I wanted to search my entire desktop for all the files that are ping files. I don't care what the name is. It can be case insensitive, so it doesn't matter if the PNG is capital P, lowercase p, or, or whatever. And now I want to go to the end of the line, and I want to use the exec option. And then... I'm going to do a do space minus sh. That is the directory utility. It's going to give me the size and human readable of the files uh, within this find. Then I'm going to do open and close curly brackets, space, back whack, and semicolon. So now this command is going to find any file that has a ping PNG extension in this desktop location and it's going to tell me the size of each of those files within the return results. So then I hit enter and it tells me a whole list of files and the sizes right next to it. Isn't that awesome? If you want to use the find command just to find like some random file, like let's say I'm just trying to find this WWDC keynote folder, I'm not really sure where it's at, so I delete this execute part because I don't really need that. I'm gonna basically do a star WWDC star and and what I'm doing here is I'm saying I want to find anything that has WWDC in it I don't care what's in front of it I don't care what's behind it and I don't care if it's got a capital or a lowercase set of letters I am going to look 
inside of the Mac Lady home folder and I'm gonna see if I can find that and I'm gonna hit enter and it tells me exactly where it's at. It's on your desktop buddy. It's where it's at. So I hope you guys like this video and you guys use that find command and the execute. It's super awesome when you embed that into scripts and you need to do certain operations maybe to gather data or to do whatever. It really opens up the doors for a lot of functionality and the ability to do things uh, in an automated fashion. All right, you guys have an awesome day. Take care. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed and have an awesome day. Take care.